So we've got Macy Cantrell aboard with us uh, right now. We're going to talk a little bit about the Cup. Um, she went in 2017, and Macy, thanks for hanging out with us a little bit. You're from uh, the southeastern portion of Ohio, right? Yep. And uh, 2017, you went to the Cup. What did you think of the playing side of this adventure? It was it was just crazy to me. Like my uh, teammates and I, we bonded really quick, even though we were from everywhere. I mean, we had girls from Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, all over the country. And um, competition wise, it was crazy. I'll never see anything like. It. And it was intimidating at first to see girls with um, like a lot older than me. They would have like their husband and kids. Watching them in the audience, it was a little bit intimidating, but it ended up being really well. The competition was great. Well, one interesting thing on that note, I can say that there's a lot of athletes that are 24, 5, and 6. I think the girl that the team that won it a, was a 35 year old catcher. So, yes, they're a lot older, but these are national level players. They play at a very, very, very high level. And of course, we're just a bunch of high school girls coming in to show them our stuff. And of course, we're pretty respected because we're pretty good, like you, Macy. But anyhow, what is a couple of things that you took away from this trip that the overall trip, we ended up in Paris, we were in the Netherlands, we saw Anne Frank's home and things like that. What was something that was outstanding from this trip that you just loved? One of my favorite things on the trip was just the opportunity in general. When I found out I was being even considered to be able to go, I was extremely honored and excited. Um, my fa I couldn't really name my favorite part of the trip because there were so many things, just a whole mix of being able to play that level of competition, being able to play teams from other countries. I mean, I'll never be able to do something like that here in the States. And um, on, the sightseeing, on the sightseeing side, what, what was uh, pretty cool to see? I had always wanted to visit um, Paris. That was like the top of my uh, bucket list, but seeing um, seeing the Eiffel Tower and the Notre Dame was beautiful, and I really enjoyed the Anne Frank House in Amsterdam also. So there, there were some historic sides of you too, not just the fun side, right? Yeah. And we had a little bit of a peanut issue there. I remember that very, very well. Yes, we did. That was at the Anne Frank House. Now, that was an allergic to peanut kind of thing, which was my first encounter with that. But I think we've experienced everything now just because of you, Macy. But <laughs> again, would you go back one more time? Oh, I definitely would. I so definitely I'm going to talk to your parents after we're talking about this. I'm going to yell at them real, real quick and say, Scott Sharma, I'm going to take her back. Maybe we won't let them know next time. We'll just say we're going to go for a baguette and we'll end up in Paris. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, anyhow, thanks a bunch, Macy, and uh, thanks for your input. Uh, very appreciated. Loved having you. Would love to take you back one other time. Thanks again.